Hello there, and welcome to a brand new Hardcore Minecraft series. My name's Joel, and I am terrible at Hardcore Minecraft. I've tried multiple times to play Hardcore, and I've died stupidly. Ooh, more gunpowder. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I've died really stupidly. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I'm, I'm, no. And of course, I've died really, really stupidly. You just got, you gotta have another one. That ah! So what's the difference this time, Joel? Well, not much. I could be adding a really, really, really stupid death onto that list, but I will try my best not to. To make you believe me, I'm going to spend at least 21 hours in game on this first episode, which beats my first stupid death record. Anyway, please subscribe as it really does help. And in case you're wondering what you've been watching so far is day zero of our world. Yes, that's right. We'll also be tracking the days in the top left hand corner, meaning this is day one. Ooh, not much has happened as you can see from my inventory. Now let's do something you probably shouldn't do in a hardcore world but should be pretty safe as long as you're not an idiot. And luckily for you guys, I'm only slightly an idiot. Five iron. That means this is going to be a good series. And I just found some armor as well, meaning I basically can't die now. So with my newfound confidence, I robbed this village of all its resources, collected some nearby basic materials, looted this chest, and then got murdering some cows. I saw my first mob in this cave here and ran away. Why? Well, because I'm very, very scared. I'll be sleeping as soon as the sun sets most nights to stop mob spawning because I'm very, very scared. I did, however, find this lovely bit of scenery here and I was inspired and it gave me some ideas. So let's put all our stuff in this chest here and let's go gather some more materials, but not in there. Instead, I headed out to this nearby mountain biome, which as you can see, is covered in coal and iron. So of course we got mining away, slept, then mined some more. I've mined so much stuff, but look how much is left still. We'll come back to that when we get some better enchantments. And I'm gonna start this world off right by actually making some blast furnaces to smelt all this iron. It's a lot of iron for early game, but it's worth it, okay? It speeds things up so much. And while that was smelting, I took the time to look at how amazing this area is looking and found a perfect place for our starter base to go. Not only does it have a lovely backdrop, there's also this really cool cave underneath, which I could definitely use in the future. But before we get building that, let's make sure we're actually protected as, um... This leather cap and gold leggings have served me well, but I feel a bit safer now. And look at me, full iron, full iron tools, and so much iron still smelting. Not bad for day four, eh? So let's talk about this starter base. Now it's a starter base, so we're not going to go too complicated. And rather than collect loads of crazy materials, we're going to use things local to the area, such as these spruce trees on the mountain, some oak wood, and let's clear some space and make a temporary little tree farm here using the saplings we gathered. Now I'm going to be totally honest here, when I play Minecraft these days, I use help. And when it comes to building, I like to use a mod called Lightmatica. This mod just saves me time as a content creator and shows me what materials I need to build my starter base. As I always grab the seed when I start a new world and design stuff in creative first to save myself some time, as this is my job after all. As a classic saying goes, don't work hard, work smart. Although we work hard as well. Now I'm going to grab myself a shield as we're going to venture into the cave down here because there's a few blocks I want to get. Oh look, our first mob kill. Oh man, that is not what I wanted to see underneath my area. <laughs> what I wanted to see was the tough. I need a little bit of tough. Not the deep dark. Oh gosh. Is there any way to get that tough without setting off sensors? I don't know. I think we're safe, right? I'd hope we are. Can you see why I die so much in hardcore? Let's collect some of this quickly. We don't need much. I just need it for a bit of texturing. All right, let's make our way up to safety and follow my torch trail home. Now I'm going to try something different for this starter base. I'm going to try and make it expandable. Normally I build something and once I'm done with it, I'm done. Whereas this one, we're going to adapt it for the future. And I should be careful here. Ooh. Our first gold. So the first part may look quite basic at first, but I promise you by the end of the episode, it'll hopefully look pretty good. And the main material we're using, that's right, stone. Now I know I said easy to get materials, but I, I want normal stone, so we're gonna have to do a lot of smelting. I've been used to endgame Minecraft for a while. This is slow. Holy moly. 
but we've been gathering some stuff in this chest here. It's looking good. Still a lot more to go, though. But as time passes, I'm feeling braver and braver. So we collected some stuff like andesite and sand, and we also made ourselves the wonderful stone cutter. Praise be, stone cutter. Praise be. I love you. I also did the horrible task of getting clay with an iron shovel. We're getting there. However, there's one thing I want to do that I've never done before, but I'm pretty sure I know how it works. If I get some glass bottles of water, can you... Oh, look at that. You can make some mud. I only need four bits of mud. But there's no mangrove swamp nearby, so that's my best way of getting it. And then use the wheat I got from the farm, make some packed mud, some mud bricks, and then some mud brick stairs, which is what I want. Look at all them materials, by the way. Only a couple more things to get, and that is some sugar cane, some leaves, and the last things are string and moss. Let's hope this shipwreck has the moss. Doesn't look like it. Big sad. But maybe this map will give us some diamonds. We're on day 13, and that's my lucky number. Gimme, oh my gosh. A single diamond, I'll take it. Second time, lucky. No moss. Third time's a charm, baby. Lovely. Not so lovely. Wee oui, wee, oui, Trebian. The last thing I need, some string. And there we go, all the materials we need. So Joel, you're gonna get building it, right? Right? Actually, no, I wanna build a farm first. Why? Because I need to at some point and um, I like to tease you. So this lovely land up here I'm stood on, right? Imagine there's a bridge going across. The bridge will come at a later date. But all this space up here could be quite good for some farms. So let's build some farms. So let's make a hoe and let's get ho hoeing. Is that a thing people say? It most certainly is not. But anyway, we got building this farm, which took a bit longer than I thought it was going to just because it's so awkward at the early game. But after about 30 minutes, we had a decent looking field. There we go. A farm. And there's an Enderman underneath it. Two Endermen. What are they doing there? I don't know. But soon we will have wheat. Wheat to feed cows, which we don't have right now, but we will get at a later date because we need food. Anyway, that's enough teasing for now. Shall we work on this little starter base? I, I promise you, it, it may not look the greatest right now, but hopefully later it will. All right, stick around. Time to clear some space. Gosh, I just want diamond tools so badly. And let's get building this thing, starting with the exterior. It's not the largest building in the world, but we tried to add in some texture into it anyway, using that tuff, the cobblestone, and the andesite, so it wasn't just plain stone and stone bricks. I also added on a very ugly flat spruce roof. That didn't take long at all. Kind of a weird looking house, I know. All right, I know, okay? But that's gonna change, like I said. It's all about the adaptability. Shall we do the inside now? The inside isn't going to be adaptable. It's just going to stay the same because I'm not going to make myself do two interiors. That'd be crazy. So there we go. A pretty basic starter house. Well, it's only day 23. So what do you expect? All right. The interior, however, I'm quite happy with. Look at this for a little basic layout. And you can see here where we plan to expand in the future. Ooh. As yes, that roof will be going, which is why it looks, well terrible. It kind of looks like a very disgusting birthday cake. Now I'm already sick of having to run round to my farm here. If only there was some sort of bridge. Hey, hey. Imagine if I just built one right now. Wouldn't that be crazy? So off I went to gather the materials for it, pulling off this sick water bucket jump and then collecting a load of stone and a little bit of oak wood too. I then got assembling said bridge and bridged the gap across to our farm and it does exactly what it's meant to do. I also added a pillar underneath my base because I thought it looked a bit floaty and this adds some aesthetic support. Look at me walking on my bridge. Look at me. Admire me. I have a bridge. It's coming together. Although this house still looks like a terrible cake. There's some things in Minecraft you just have to do, like breaking wheat and placing seeds, and it's not fun to watch. I could put some crazy music behind it right now, but look. It's still not fun, is it? I think there's only one thing that's less fun than planting crops, and that's sorting your chests out. But it needs to be done. However, I'm not gonna show me doing that. Instead, I'll show you a little cute video of my dog or something, and then it'll be done. It's not done yet, but this wandering trader showed up and I realized I do have emeralds and I can buy some cactus. I'm just gonna buy one. Inside now, everything is sort of labeled and we know where everything goes. Hopefully we can keep this neat and tidy for a while, but it's time to mine. This is Minecraft after all and 
I'm still wearing iron armor, guys, and I've been playing for what? Five hours exactly. Let's go caving and hope we don't die. Well, the series would be over if we did die. Hello. One sec. Come on, fella. Get in this boat. Where are you all coming from? Lovely. You may become useful in the future. I've realized I'm definitely going to need more tools. That's better. Before we set off, though, bam. Wheat field is now full of seeds. What will I do with all these spare seeds that I have in my inventory? Probably make another wheat field. Into the caves we go. You have got to be joking me. Why is there so much skulk everywhere? I think this is pretty safe, though, because there's none of those shriekers around. At least I can't see any. Guys, I think I'm about to be really boring and strip mine. Ugh. And I did strip mine. I broke one and a half pickaxes and I found absolutely nothing. I am a pathetic failure. Time to try something different. And that was to look for diamonds generated in structures. Give me a map. What on earth? This is right in the middle of the sea. I've never seen this before. It's like down here. What on earth? Oh, no diamonds. Well, I've raided two chests and neither of them are diamonds. So this is a terrible idea as well. Okay, I've ran really far away. Hopefully this cave will be better. Whee! This cave almost goes all the way down to bedrock instantly. What the heck? Why, hello there, diamond. Let's see how many more we get in this cave. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, a mob spawner with lots of cool stuff in the chest for me. I then decided to go strip mining because I'm a boring loser and got two diamonds. In all that time of mining, I didn't find more than a cluster of two diamonds. How? How? But we ended up with 12 in total, and I'm deciding what to make. Because obviously, a diamond pickaxe is very important. But so is diamond armor. And I need an enchanting table. But I want to enchant a diamond pickaxe. But to enchant, I need two diamonds, meaning I don't have enough to do all of them. Let's do the enchantment table, the pickaxe, and some diamond leggings. But we have no space for this enchantment table to go. So I guess it's time to expand the expandable base. Starting by getting rid of this absolutely horrible roof. I hate it so much. I got rid of this way too early as I've got nowhere near enough materials to build what I want to build. Let's change that, shall we? A lot of this stuff is just me gathering wood and then crafting it into stuff. And we end up with a chest of spruce stuff. I stone cut a load of deep slate giving us deep slate stuff. I also had my closest death experience yet. Mole, mole, did not see that creeper. Where did it come from? Oh my gosh. Ah. I went out into the world to gather some random stuff, including all the different types of stone, some clay, and ended up with stone stuff. I planted some sugar cane and then chopped down a load of oak trees, crafted some stuff, stripped some stuff, also went out and got some birch stuff, and then I got some sugar cane that I planted. I made a whole cow farm as well and got some cows, and I ended up with lots of wooden stuff. I crafted some lanterns, added them to the chest, and all the other bits and bobs. And that gives us everything we need for this expansion. That took a long time. We're now at the 10 hour mark. I decided to watch the sunset in Minecraft because I'm a massive loser and I thought it looked pretty. But then I was like, Joel, what are you doing? Let's get building. Let's turn this birthday cake into an actual nice house. We're using some gradients on this thing. We've got some dripstone and some terracotta. And we're topping it off with the deep slate roof. All coming together to make a lovely looking house, which I'm very, very pleased with. Look at our house. I've kind of like tripled it in sides. Do you want a quick tour? At the top of the stairs, we have our new enchanting area. This is a corridor. At the end of the corridor is my bedroom. And on the top floor is, is just a messy storage room to store stuff in. And I've been quite unlucky so far, but not anymore. We're about to get fortune free first time. Bam. Oh my gosh. What? We actually did? <laughs> Thank you, Minecraft gods. Thank you. That means that I can enchant my legs now. I was not expecting this to happen. Fire protection. Okay. Minecraft gods, you give up, then you take up. Oh my gosh. With our fortune free pickaxe, we're going to go looking for more diamonds. You know it. So off we went deep into this cave here in search for diamonds. Got attacked by a lot of mobs, which was very scary. And found our first diamond in a mine shaft until. First diamonds. <gasps> what? Four? Oh, and then one. Still good. I then went mining a bit more, sticking to the caves this time rather than strip mining as I found it was a bit more successful. But oh boy, does the fortune free come in handy. My gosh, without it, I would have got nowhere near this amount of armor and tools. Doesn't mean I get good enchantments though. <sighs> well, Joel, we're all nice and geared up now, but our house is kind of looking a bit, you know, weird. It just sort of sticks out and I feel like it's missing 
trees. So am I really going to spend a lot of hours adding in some trees? Well, we still got about nine and a half hours left. So um, yeah, let's see how long this takes. A very long time because as you can see, we had to chop down a load of oak trees, which took about a day. Planted a load of spruce trees, but I needed them to grow. So I went mining out of boredom. Got myself some birch leaves, got myself some spruce leaves. Re-enchanted my diamond chest plate and got protection free, which is almost as bad as before. Then with all the materials we gathered, we got building these spruce trees. And this took a long time to build them all. I'd say this whole process took around about two to three hours of our time. And let's pause the time lapse for a second because if you're wondering how I did this, I basically went into creative mode. I made two different spruce trees. I rotated them around, placed them around my house, and we got building them. So basically all these trees you're seeing here are two different types of tree, just rotated and slightly different in each one. But unless I told you that, I don't think you'd be able to tell, although I've noticed this one here looks identical to that one there. But apart from that, you can't tell, right? And look at the difference it makes to our house. Oh, it's gorgeous, love. But it could be even more gorgeous. How, you ask? Well, first we dispose of this pesky skeleton. And then enchant our shovel. Then collect some gravel and some dirt. Make some coarse dirt. Then let's get some stone, some moss, some dripstone. And last up, some flowers. And then let's make a new pathway through the center of these two trees here, like so. And then up here, let's add some boulders. Mm, boulders. And then some moss placed around. And then some coarse dirt and gravel. Yes, I have a new shovel. My last one just broke. Oops. And finally, some flowers. And if you pan out and have a look at it all in total, I think it's turned out looking a lot better. But let's not stop there. I want to transform the underneath area of our cave where we have our pillar and also these two lovely, lovely creepers. So I gathered some materials and built some stairs leading all the way down. I decorated those stairs and linked it up to my path as well and added this little pond next to them. I added some plant boxes on. Then I also added in a pathway before opening up a big hole here. Inside this hole, we're going to have our first farm, which is a very basic sugarcane farm. We're not going to be making it automated. We're just going to plant it and we're going to come break it with our hands. But obviously we're not going to leave it just as a whole. Oh no, no, no. We're going to decorate not only the interior, but the exterior as well. So we used some oak and spruce wood, went and collected some granite and then went and got some deep slate from down below. I then built a little exterior for this, a little house sticking out of the cave, which is lovely because you don't have to build the back of the house. Instead, you build the front, which is great. It begins. That's right. I'm hoping to have lots of different little buildings down here. All of them hopefully having some sort of purpose. This one here is a sugarcane farm, which I have been collecting and throwing in these chests here. It's not automated, but this is episode one. I'm not going to be automating stuff. Now, I would like to build more farms, but before building more farms, I need somewhere to store the stuff from my farms. So let's build something here. So off we set on a little adventure out to find a new type of wood and that wood was dark oak from a forest not too far away. We also collected some calcite. However, we sleep in the big bed because after I do this, we are on day 100 and we've nearly hit the 18 hour mark. The only thing we did on day 100 was gather deep slate. As the sun sets for day 100, look, we have everything we need to build this house. I guess we're going to get building again. Oh my gosh, there's been so much building this episode. Get used to it. This is what this series is going to be about. Yeah, that's right, baby. And this here is a slightly different sort of style of building to the one we built earlier for our house. We've still got some sort of remnants of it, but it's also got a diagonal in it. A nice looking farmhouse. Now all we need is to plant our crops. Let's start with carrots. So of course we walled off the carrot field. Then we put some water in. Hoed that ground like a man that's hoeing ground. And then we planted the carrots that we'd already gathered. Oh, I just realized I never showed you around the barn. Do you want to have a quick look? Inside we've got loads and loads of storage as you can see. We've also got two bone mill machines which will use these hoppers and these cobbles composters here to give us bone mill and then we have more storage yeah it, it's a lot of storage but we need the storage 
Anyway, on to potatoes. Same thing as before, except this time it's a different field and we, we cleared some space as well and made a new pathway. Once again, did some hoeing like a man who hoes stuff and then we planted our potatoes. I also harvested my wheat to make some bone meal as uh, we needed some bone meal and I got bored of making farms so I went and harvested some leaves, got some oak wood and then I decided to build a tree here. I know, I'm just so crazy. I'm just kidding, it's just a simple little oak tree. Next up, Pumpkins. Pumpkins are a bit more difficult to plant as you can't plant them sporadically all over the place like carrots and wheat. Instead, you have to make these weird lines to make it a little bit more efficient. But we did that. We planted our pumpkin seeds. We made a little wall around it using the same stuff we'd be making the walls of of everywhere else. And we also made sure it was nice and lit up. Next up, some sheep. Here's a pen. It's only small, but we don't need a lot of sheep. I went and got some sheep and I put the sheep in the pen. Oh, it feels nice walking through all my fields of crops. This didn't take as long as I thought it would, to be honest. I know we still haven't got melons and beetroots, but I feel like these ones here are the most important ones. And they're taking ages to grow, so let's get some bone meal. Harvesting wheat is still not fun, but it has to be done as well as bone mealing. It has to be done. It is just not fun, though. Oh, that one grew instantly. We've officially reached our final hour here. Still not got all the fields of crops full, but I'm hoping we can get Feather Falling free on our boots, as this really helps in hardcore. Can we? No. I'll have to work on a way of getting XP at some point. Back to tending my crops. That would be awfully sad to not have someone to share this lovely world with. So let's kill some fish right here and let's find some cats. Oh, there's two. Lovely. This might take up the rest of the next hour. Where are you going, fella? I'm here with some fish. Yes. <laughs> lovely. You'll come home with me. I don't want you. Somehow I've lost the cat already. The village is here where I tamed him. Oh, he's... <sighs> Get off the bed. Come on, come with me. Exactly like my cat in real life. Because of that, I'm going to leave him under this tree here and use my one and only name tag, plus make a brand new anvil. And rather than call him Buddy, as he's ginger and looks nothing like Buddy, we're going to call him Muddy. And look at that, the final carrot in our carrot field. Super exciting, I know. And that's all the pumpkins. And finally, the potatoes as well. All the fields are full. And with that, we have reached the 21-hour mark. Look at what we have managed to create within this 21 hours. What a first episode. I hope you guys are excited for what's to come. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you next time. Good. Bye.